Pero la que... What's going on friends? Come on in, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope you are all doing well today. Are you doing well? I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series here, sort of, where I go across the media, see what's being said about the Blues, giving you my opinion, but more importantly, asking for yours. Hello, so what's going on with Chelsea at the moment? Well, we defend well and we don't score goals. A recurring narrative since Thomas Tuchel has come in. Speaking of recurring narratives, Chelsea have long linked been with a new defender for next season. It's funny how that story keeps rolling on when we never concede goals. So I want to talk a little bit about what Malang Sar said. Remember him? And also, let's talk about this Christian Pulisic update and forwards generally playing for Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea News is brought to you by One Football. Hope you can see that. Yes. I know a lot of you already have One Football and you've clicked the link in the description, but to those of you who have not, I urge you all to click the link in the description and check out one football because it's completely free you can have it on your phone iphone android gives you updates on chelsea gives you everything you'll ever need to know statistically uh, results, lineups, transfer news. I use it all the time. You can too, my sweet, sweet friend. So go check out One Football. Click the link in the description. Get it for free. Ding ding. All right then, let's go into today's first story and clear up some Pulisic chat. Right, this is coming from the big man transfer guru himself, Fabrizio Romano, the go-to expert when it comes to anything transfer related. Honestly, just a quick one on Fabrizio Romano. This guy's phone book must be absolutely mad constant updates from every big club in world football about every big player his brain would explode or should explode i mean my brain nearly explodes just trying to keep my life together so imagine trying to keep all those transfers together anyway what am i talking about Christian Pulisic. An interesting case, of course, was recently rumoured to be leaving Chelsea Football Club, which I sort of felt might have been a bit nonsense, purely because he's not playing under Thomas Tuchel, who of course coached him at Dortmund, which raised a few eyebrows. We all thought, wow, super Christian Pulisic, our best attacker last season, is now going to go fully Super Saiyan this season under Tommy Tuchel, and everything's going to be lovely. But no, he's probably been the last choice attacker, rather strangely. Now, Thomas Tuchel came out and talked about this, saying, look, the only reason I'm not turning to him is because I know what he brings. He's a known entity for me, which I thought, and something that I've spoken about on this channel before, is a little bit unfair because the, Tom because the Thomas Tuchel, because the Christian Pulisic he knew was a young lad coming through in the Bundesliga. Now, he's more of a sort of accomplished player in the Premier League. Granted, his performances have been poor. Anyway, new stories came out that big clubs are interested in him, which is apparently true, should he want to leave Chelsea. But Fabrizio Romano had this to say. Christian Pulisic has always been respectful with Chelsea. <laughs> great professional. There's interest from top clubs in case he'll leave, normal for this kind of talent, but Pulisic is still fighting for Chelsea, and nothing will be decided before June. Pretty generic, but implies and indicates that Pulisic has no interest of going elsewhere at the moment. And why would he want to? Living in London's wicked, Chelsea's a massive club, we've got an excellent squad of good players, you know, we can challenge to win stuff, and also, we've got a good coach that he knows, that we thought was going to be a good thing, but now it's, you know, raising eyebrows Anyway, of course Thomas Tuchel has recently come out in the press conference and also said, look, he needs to like work hard, everything is going to be fine. I think for the moment, we all need to understand that this is a very peculiar and sort of unique situation for the Chelsea manager, Thomas Tuchel. Joining uh, mid-season, I don't think he's ever done that before. Much like when Jose joined uh, Tottenham, he'd never done it before. And it was more about steadying the ship and becoming systemic and resolute, which <laughs> Chelsea absolutely have been. Sure, we've been frustrated as the fan base for a while because we're not getting that many goals in the onion bag. But you're not having that many heart attacks, you know? No, not really. We're feeling safe. Two goals conceded and I'm contractually obligated to here to let you know that one of the goals was an own goal by Antonio Rudiger. So really, scoring goals and more attackers? We've got so many attackers. I don't know how to feel anymore. Anyway, for a long, long time, 
Chelsea is a board as a club, Frank Lampard as a manager, and maybe even Thomas Tuchel reportedly as a manager, all have been rumoured to want a centre-half. Now, this is peculiar for a team that hasn't conceded any goals whatsoever. But if that's the case, maybe we want to switch systems. And I want to turn your attention to Malang Sar for this next transfer story. Well, not so much a transfer story, I suppose, because Malang Sar is a Chelsea player. Of course, the young Frenchman is on loan at Porto currently, and it, we sort of all got reminded about his presence in the Porto game when Porto eliminated Juventus and Malang Sar eliminated Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Context is required, of course, he came off the bench, and I'm not sure how much he's been playing generally, but Malang Tsar was a free transfer we got last summer, and he was a highly, highly rated player. There was actually quite a lot of noise around him. He's a left-footed, I believe, you feel free to correct me in the comments, but I think he's left-footed. Very, very strongly built French centre half. And I want to read you some quotes from today's cited article talking about the situation with Malang Sar and what he had to say. Chelsea summer signing Malang Sar has given the fans an update on his progress on loan at Porto, describing his move as the perfect solution. Chelsea beat a number of top sides to Sar's signature, the centre-back arriving on a free transfer since his contract expired at Nice. Sar was soon sent on loan to the Portuguese Giants where he's played sporadically and recently was part of the team that knocked Juventus out of the Champions League. The 22-year-old says the lone move away from Stamford Bridge was always part of the plan and aims to be part of Chelsea's first team squad soon. Interesting and it is important to remind you all at this point that Chelsea did beat a lot of big big clubs to Malang Sar's signature. He let his contract run down for the league earn side because he wanted to have the opportunity to sign a good deal and not negotiate or whatever. So a lot of teams came in for him and Chelsea managed to convince him to put pen to paper for the West London Giants, Chelsea Football Club, and obviously convinced him that he would have a chance to play for Chelsea, but like previously stated, was always going to go on loan at first. Let's read on and hear what Malang Sar had to say for himself. I was training with Chelsea before I got loaned, Sar told Lekeep as per sport witness. The loan was part of the plan. I had to be honest with myself, my season ended in March and I wasn't going to be successful right away at Chelsea. It was the perfect solution because I wanted to do a season at a top club like Porto, to be good and then later take a place at Chelsea. Interesting, now we have to remember that Ligue 1 was cancelled early because of the global apocalyptic pandemic, so he hadn't played football for a long, long time, so that's probably why he wasn't going to be like included in the squad or had a look at or something. And because that was always the plan, even before they started negotiating him signing for Chelsea, the likes of Frank Lampard wouldn't have even had to think about him or considering him about in implementing him into the Chelsea squad. Why can't I talk English? Actually, Chelsea were looking at a lot of clubs to loan him to and Porto was a very much last minute destination. Sure, Porto are a big, big club. Of course, they're playing in the Champions League. They just knocked out Juventus, Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus. So, you know, superb in the end. Looks like a good loan, even though he's been playing sporadically. But for a long time, they were looking at some big, big names, European giants to go and loan him to. Um, you know, maybe I think maybe a bit more like AC Milan and stuff and a bit more of a higher level than Porto. Of course, Milan now have Fikayo Tomori, who's winning player of the month, becoming a iconic fan favourite out there and will probably be <laughs> end up being sold to AC Milan. Sad face. Anyway, back to Malang Sar. So Chelsea want to buy a new centre-half in the summer, even though we have a few. But the truth is, when we're defending so, so well, should we go and spend, you know, 70 million on a Jose Maria Jimenez to bring him to Chelsea? Or do you just say, look, a left-footed centre-half is pretty darn good in the Premier League and they seem to be rare. Why don't we bring in Malang Sar into the squad, you know, and especially if someone like Zuma is going to be sold, which will be sad, but, you know, certain players don't fit under certain managers and seemingly that's the case with Kurt Zuma at Chelsea under Thomas Tuchel. So, you know, you bring in Malang Sar, he could be part of the squad. If Chelsea are to keep this back three system, then they don't concede goals anyway. So, for me, that makes make sure you can save more of your transfer fund, your transfer kitty, Maybe that one superstar player that plays on the other end of the pitch that can score you a few friggin' goals. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm keen to hear this sort of collective Chelsea fan opinion about buying a centre-half. Do you think we need one? What do you think of Malang Sar? I haven't watched much of him, I need to be honest. So I turned to you, my viewership. Have you watched him? What do you guys think? 
Let me know in the comments section below. I'll be keen on reading your opinions. Let me know generally about your opinions on the team and transfers, etc. <laughs> Keep it locked to Football Therapy. Daily uploads, of course, letting you know what's happening in the headlines. Uh, drop a like, sub if you're new. Enjoy the football, my friends. Mwah, mwah, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.